everyone, Baron Dome here, and today I want to show you my snowball generator. Uh, it's not really a completely AF cable thing. It's because I mean it makes snowballs so fast. I didn't want to completely overload my system with just hours and hours worth of snowballs. Actually, I, I was able to fill up my complete uh, sorting system with snowballs in 15 minutes, no problem. So I want to show you first what I have in my world. And then we're going to go into uh, my test world and I'll show you how I made it. It's actually a pretty simple design. So here's our snowman. He's, uh, he's trapped up here. He's actually, I don't know if you can see, there's a half slab back there. So the only thing he's really standing on right now is this chest. And because of that, it's a little bit lower than a block. He's actually making his snow on the block right below it. He won't make it there because there's a slab there and he's not standing on this half slab. He's right here on this um, on this chest. And we don't even need the half slab. It's just I put it there just to block me from going into it. So I'm going to show you. So here's a chest with uh, shovels and I've clocked it out that one shovel gives you about 28 stacks of snowballs at, and the stacks of snowballs are at 16. So we're going to do this. I'm just going to show you how fast it goes and then under here I have a hopper. So we do this until the shovel breaks, and I then press this button, and the piston on the back will push all the snowballs forward onto this half slab, and underneath there, the hopper will collect it, and then take it onto my sorting system. So let me show you how fast this goes. So I'm just going to aim right here at the obsidian. And it goes pretty quick. And I think with this final uh, use, I will actually have my uh, sorting system completely full of snowballs. And the reason I went with the obsidian is with the... Uh, the mining beacon, I didn't want the chance of breaking any blocks underneath there, and I figured that was the, the best block to kind of use. Alright, there we go. All the snowballs are there. And they just got pushed down into the, the hoppers. So, I was going to show you where they go, but there's no big deal. It just goes down into the uh, sorting machine. And uh, some of them will get stuck on the, the slab back there, but that's not a big deal. You can just toss them in there like that. Alright, so let's head over to my test world so I can show you how I built it. Okay, so we're in my test world now. Uh, I want to show you the basic setup that you need to do, and then we're going to kind of build up from there to get a little bit more complicated for what you need. So the basics is it, you need a chest or even an enchanting table I think you can use. Uh, you don't need this, but if you don't have it there, uh, it's going to spawn that, which is no big deal. Uh, you put a hole there, you put the obsidian there. And then just get your shovel out. And you pretty much just stand right here. You can actually stand right in front and just get snowballs for days. Pretty easy. Let me get rid of all of these. A little bit more onto that. Uh, I add, Here's where you add the piston. So you get another shovel out. So it's just a simple, you know, uh, redstone to a piston. Do the same thing. Do that for a little bit. And it gets pushed all into the, the hopper, just like that. So here's all the, the materials you're going to need to build this. We need stone, you need fences, uh, obsidian, slab, snow, and a pumpkin, of course. And I get all this. Let me switch to creative again. All right. So we're going to start with the uh, the chest. Pop a hole there. And then put the obsidian there. Slab there. And I need that. Okay. Now the tricky thing is getting the snowman into this little hole right here. Because you see how it's not actually over a square it's in it's like in the middle of something 
So what we need to do, got to kind of build up a little bit because we need to build an area where we can build a snowman and then drop him in. And I think that's right. Or is it that one? I always get this confused. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. Now the thing with building the snowman is you can't just build him right on that fence post because once he uh, becomes a snowman, he'll fall right through the fence post. So we have to go a little bit one higher. So there's a gap. Once he falls down, then you got to kind of push him into that hole, just like that. Let me show you again. So the reason we're doing the blocks around here because if you did the fence posts actually like because if you did the fence post right here he could actually fall through here here or even back here so that's why we need to do the blocks because they extend out just a bit more than the fence posts. Actually, that even works better. So we go one up over it, and you can just nudge him in. And you got to be quick because if he tries to come towards you towards the block, he can actually jump out. So you could actually go up one more and do it from here because he can't jump over the fence post so you can just do it right from there just like that. just like that and then just nudge him into the corner and then once he's in just get all the snowballs for days that you want yep that's it and then you can, of course, clear don't need the rest of this. You don't even need all that. You could just keep them just like that so you can see his pretty little face because he can't jump over those fences. So yep, that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Catch you guys later.